In this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean the carpets of your vehicle. You can simply rent a shampooer from uh, many businesses, any local hardware store. They're going to probably offer it anywhere between $30 and $50 a day to rent. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use and how much dirt it gets up. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification for more videos, and keep watching. This little contraption is actually pretty easy to use and self-explanatory. There's no paper manual or booklet that comes with it, just a couple simple uh, tags on the actual machine itself. So you have to attach the hose attachment if you want to shampoo the carpets inside your vehicle. If you're just shampooing your, the rugs in your house or your carpet in your house, no need for the attachment. Once you have the hose hooked up and the water line hooked up in the back, it's a simple quick release. Just pop it on. You see there's two methods or two modes, one for carpet cleaning and one for cleaning upholstery or just simply using the tool. Make sure you have the correct one selected. There is also an on and off button for the main power to the unit. Make sure you have it plugged in and turn to the on position when you're ready. However, before we get started, we first have to fill it up with some soapy water. Remove this from its housing, take off the reservoir which holds the dirty water once you're completed, and this is where we're going to be putting our soapy water. The cleaning solution is made by adding four ounces of the concentrated solution from the bottle to a gallon of water, and this should be enough to take any stains out. If you want a deeper clean, you can add six to eight ounces of concentrated fluid to a gallon of water. So once you add it to the bottom of the rug doctor there and you replace the overfill bucket and then replace this contraption right here, you should be ready to go. Make sure you have the correct option selected, the correct mode selected, and make sure you turn it on and that there's no leaks. Also, make sure that your hose connection is actually pulling a vacuum and also that you're spraying some soapy water out. Once you have the cleaning solution in the bin and everything's hooked up, you are ready to start cleaning your vehicle. Now this takes a little bit of a technique to it. You might want to practice on some of the easier, flatter areas first before you go into some of the bumps and ridges and the dirtier parts. The trick is to keep the tool going slow and steady. You also want to make sure that you stop before you get to the edges so you're not spraying liquid in the gaps of the vehicle. You don't want a mold problem or a musty problem in the future. Once you have a hang of the tool, you are now ready to go on to some of the more curved spots and the more dirty spots. You may notice in some of the dirtier areas, the fluid flowing in the vacuum is starting to become dirtier. You want to keep going over this spot until you see no more dirt and grime coming up. Let me be the first to tell you that you're not going to get a complete clean. If the stain was very recent, you might be able to get it out completely 100% but I would say I reduced the shade of the stain probably anywhere between 25 and 50 percent. Another option would be to possibly make your cleaning solution a little bit more concentrated. I hope you found this video helpful. Go ahead and share it with your friends and on your social media pages. Also subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification to get notified of every time I put up a new video. Also hit that like button and go ahead into the comments and let me know what you think and if you're going to do this on your own vehicle. Thanks for watching.